And hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Eflexonics. Today I want to take an opportunity to explain what the difference is between Eflexonics points and reflexology. There is a difference because as we say on the podcast show, we use reflexology without the New Age principles. Because to be honest with you, I've found personally that New Age principles can be difficult to defend. And, and let me give you an example of that. Here's my, here's my story. When I took electronics in college, and I was, I was teaching electronics, I was teaching electronics, I was teaching reflexology at the same time that I was attending electronics in co- electronics college. And I was studying telephony, computer repair, and electronics. And I saw a very strong correlation between electronic circuits and how they behaved and the electricity within the human body. Now, if you take a look at books like The Body Electric by Dr. Becker, it does a wonderful job of explaining exactly what happens inside a body when it is influenced by its own electrical pattern, magnetic pattern, or electronic pattern, and the outside influence as well. In future podcasts, this is what I want to hope to do. I've got this wonderful little kit, and I don't know if you can see it properly in the camera. It is a, an electronic snaps circuit kit, and it says from ages 8 to 108, so I'm in that category, and it says that you can do 300 exciting projects. Now, my intention is this. I want to take this electronics kit, and I want to break it down to basics. I want to explain resistance in an electronic circuit so I can possibly explain resistance in the human body. I want to explain capacitance in these electronic circuits so I can explain capacitance or what capacitance means in the human body. I want to explain resonance and I want to explain electricity and I want to explain magnetism. Because I think, you know, when you talk to a traditional reflexologist and they start to involve new age, that actually is part of a belief system. So, what we do is at, at Eflexonics, uh, at the Eflexonics points, you can use a reflexology map and put it on top of the Eflexonics points theory concept and use it quite well. And what I'm saying is this if you believe that reflexology, the reflexology map will benefit you, go ahead and use it. There's nothing stopping you. And actually, it may do you some good if you believe in it. If you do not believe in it, this is what I'm attempting to do with these series of podcasts. I want to explain in a scientific terms, as close as I can, how the body reacts to pain, how the body reacts to healing, how the body reacts, reacts to relaxation, and what separates reflexology from an eflexonics point. And it's quite different. I actually really enjoyed teaching reflexology for the several years uh, at the adult education departments of local school boards. And we had a ton of fun in the classes. Um, but I found that there was something missing. See, here's, here's my personal take on reflexology. There's, a, there's some good stuff in the concept and theory of reflexology. But then it kind of got lost its way a little bit and they brought in new age concepts and beliefs. And they said that the universal energy, whatever that is, will help heal. Well, I feel that there's more of a scientific approach and a scientific explanation to reflexology. And to be honest with you, I wanted to kind of sort of distance myself from the reflexology and create a program called Eflexonics Points. And that means that we combine scientific explanations with a little bit of reflexology theory as well. Now, some people will tell you that if you if you don't have reflexology without the new age, it's just a foot rub. Hey, I'll take that. A foot rub feels good. And if you can alleviate some pain and some tension by rubbing your foot, that's all I need to know. That And, and as a matter of fact, there's... Uh, Quite a few doctors that'll say, 
if you isolate reflexology and you and if you just work on someone's foot and they start to relax, you've accomplished your goal. It's when we start adding a whole bunch of other it's when we start adding promises that we know or we think we can keep or cannot keep is when we run into trouble as reflexologists. If you go see some reflexologists, they have a whole list about this long about all the things they can help you cure. That's wrong. <laughs> you cannot cure anything with reflexology. What you can do is you can take some of the concepts from reflexology and allow your body to relax. When your body is in a relaxed state of mind, it actually can start to heal. But if you've been under a lot of stress and a lot of tension, your body is in fight or flight mode. Uh, and going back to that, that podcast that I did with Yvette Eastman, my reflexology teacher, it was a phenomenal podcast. And she goes on to explain how we get affected, how our fight and flight and adrenals are turned on all the time. So we never get a break anymore. So that's why I wanted to sit down with you and explain what we're doing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.